Hi guys. It's what's the time now? 25 minutes past 11 on a Sunday night, and uh, I've been at Mum's as I do most Sundays, unless. Actually, yeah, I think the only reason I don't go over is if Mum and Stepdad had a bit of a, you know, an argument. Because it's not the right sort of atmosphere. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only time I really don't go over to Mum's. Uh, we did stop off at the Recycle Centre, as we do most Sundays as well. And uh, I did get a bike. It's not the best one in the world but it was worth uh, rescuing and fixing up it's an Apollo brand so it is your budget bike as I like to call them I mean, it's probably it wouldn't have been more than a hundred pounds brand new um, but it's not in too bad a shape, to be honest. There's a bit of rust on the chrome handlebar, but I think I can clean most of that off. Um, I left it at Mum's. Because it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend, I'm going over to Mum's again tomorrow. So I figured as it doesn't need a lot doing to it, it's got road sort of tyres on it. Mountain bike sized tyres, but more for road use than off-road use actually identical to what I put on a Claude Butler that I sold a few months ago. Schwalb tyres as well. So I'm going to put some um, mountain bike tyres on, a knobbly type. So I think that would actually suit it, but I suppose it just depends what you want to use the bike for. I'm guessing whoever owned it used it on the roads more, hence the tars. Um So, what I've done, I've actually got a bag of a few bits here. I took my HP laptop over as well and that decided that didn't want to play ball. Um, so I'm going to try Windows 10. It's either going to work or it isn't. Uh, but I've put a few outers in here. And I'm going to need a brake cable, at least one brake cable. I might take a few extra bits out with me as well. It'd be easy if I had a box or something to put this in rather than a... Oh, hello. I've got a box down here. Because uh, the front brake I might be able to salvage as it is. Brake blocks are not in the best condition but they work. Uh, so I'm not going to bother replacing those. I did replace the back wheel when I was at Mum's because I didn't think to check when I was at the recycle centre. It didn't matter anyway because I've got spare wheels. But uh, when I got it back to Mum's, um, I took hold of the back wheel and just gave it a shake, and it literally shook from side to side. There was a tremendous amount of play in that wheel, and I just instantly knew that wasn't bearings that had gone. <laughs> and uh, when I took the back wheel out, my instinct was right. In fact, I'll uh, show you the axle tomorrow. I should have bought that home, actually. As soon as I dropped the wheel out, half the wheel axle fell out of the wheel. Sheared completely in half. Clean snap. Um, so, luckily I had a a bit of a start there. Luckily I had a wheel in the shed. I just threw a six speed free wheel onto it. The derailleur looks a bit twisted. I might try and straighten that out. But that doesn't seem to be affecting the gears that much. The gear cable is a little bit sticky. Um, so I'm going to have to sort that out. It's only a little bit though. So I think with some oil down the cable and perhaps some new outers that should fix that problem. Front gear's working fine and the rear brake is a bit sticky so that's why I was just going to chuck on another cable. 
because there's nothing at the point where the cable clamps down onto the rear brake to actually pull through and tighten the brake up. Um, they've literally clamped it right down on the very end of the cable so as soon as I undo that I'm going to have to replace the cable anyway because it ain't going to be long enough. Uh, so I'll take a couple out with me for that. I don't think I need any specialist bike tools. The bottom bracket's fine. The chain feels fine. There was no slipping when I rode it. It didn't like to shift gears very well because of that rear cable but for the cable on the rear gears I should say. So yeah, I'm uh, it shouldn't take me long to do that tomorrow at all. It does need a good clean, that's the only thing I let it down. It's dirty. But uh, that is something I could I could start it at Mum's but I could finish it off here. That's not an issue. I think I'm going to bring that lady's three-speed bicycle back with me as well and do that here. Doesn't need a lot. A damn good clean. A proper three-speed wheel put in the back because I've got a 24-inch single speed in there. Just so I could wheel the bike around in the workshop and whatnot. So I didn't have to keep chucking a frame around. Uh, I just got to remember what I did with that three-speed lever. I got one out of the shed. I believe specifically for that. Or did I get... Oh! No, it wasn't. That was for my blue rally, the grandpa. Or the one I call grandpa. Uh, shit. Um, I'm going to have to get one out of the shed. <laughs> Bugger. Um... Oh well, I don't matter. I'm just sort that one out here. So I'll just drop the existing wheels out and bring a pair of wheels and chuck them in. Uh, might take the camera with me. Because if I get a moment to myself over there, I'll. Uh, ah, you son of a bitch! I actually got myself a six pack of cola today out of Lidl's because A, I didn't have any I drank it all this morning so I wouldn't have had none when I got home unless I pinched a bottle out of mum's fridge uh, and I didn't have a lot on the palate when I was there because Lidl's don't put single bottles of drink on a shelf. I just literally dr unwrap the pallet, because they're usually wrapped in like a cling film stuff. Obviously it stopped everything falling off in the back of the lorry. So they just literally unwrap it, put it on a pallet truck, and put it on the shop floor. Because <laughs> they come in those six packs. Like that one down there. Except the Pepsi. They actually sell Pepsi at 99p a bottle. That's like almost a pound cheaper than everywhere. Actually, no, I think other shops sell it at about one pound fifty, so it's about fifty pence cheaper than everywhere else. Um, but yeah, apart from the Pepsi and the Coca-Cola, their own Freeway brand all comes wrapped in a pack of six like that. So you can actually buy a pack of six or if you just want one, or two, or four, then you can just split the pack open on the shelf and take however many you want. That's how little work. <coughs> they don't really stack the shelves in a way that, say, Sainsbury's, or Asda, or... I was going to say Walmart, but I've never been in Walmart. We don't have Walmart over here. Although they do own Asda. So, we do have Walmart over here in the form of an Asda supermarket. <laughs> and my other handset has died, so I've had to put batteries in the spare, and this one isn't much better. And it's so much quiet, I can't... Usually I can hear the key tone, but... There's something wrong with this one. But that one kept... Where is it? 
somewhere there. That one kept beeping at me and it wouldn't charge when I put it on the base, so... But the batteries are fine, they're brand new batteries in there and they're working in this one. And you've got to press the buttons quite hard as well. But I paid about a pound for the pair with that one base, so I'm not really fussed. You do get phones like this in charity shops occasionally, so I'll just keep my eyes open for another pair. I can't get them down the recycle centre because I'm not allowed to sell electrical goods. Not unless you get really, really pally with the uh, staff that work down there. Then they might let you sneak one out. <laughs> but uh, I'm not that friendly with them. But, uh, although technically, according to their new price list, I should have paid £10 for that bike. Oh, hang on. No. Because it wasn't in rideable condition. If it's in rideable condition, they have to charge £10. But as it wasn't, it's £5. I'd pay £10 for a rideable one, because I can still, you know, chuck 20, 30 quid on top or whatever, and still make a profit. It just means I wouldn't have to do any work on it. <laughs> But it really is slow. It's the only one there. The rest were kids' bikes, which don't shift that well. And I haven't. I'd stock them for Christmas, uh, but I've got nowhere to stock them. <laughs> All my nooks and crannies are just full of bike parts at the moment. And as for that wheel. Uh, well, I just took the tyre and tube off and put on the other wheel, even though I've got to change the tyres, but I didn't think of that at the time. Uh, <laughs> the wheel, I'm not going to trust. If the axle has been damaged in such a way, then there is a high chance the hub has been damaged as well, the inner of the hub. So, put, I could try putting an axle on it. But to be honest, I don't think it's worth the hassle. Not for an old wheel like that, I might as well just uh, um, scrap the wheel and just throw it on the trailer for crap to either go down the dump or down the yard for scrap. In fact, if that miserable bugger landlord buggers off tomorrow, I might take it down the yard and throw on a scrap pile down there. <laughs> uh, you see, technically the boys, or the staff at these recycling centres, aren't supposed to sell to uh, people that sell things on, so like car boot traders, and other second-hand dealers and whatnot. I don't really class myself as a trader, just a hobbyist, but I suppose in their eyes I could be classed as, you know, a trader. Um, the boys don't really care. The staff don't care. I say boys because there's only boys that work down there. I've not seen a lady, anyway. I have seen ladies working at recycling centres, but not this particular one. Anyway, yeah, they don't really care. Um, but there is cameras watching and recording so if I started buying loads of bikes from the dump or the recycle centre if you will and then started taking all the broken bits back then that's going to be seen on the cameras and they're going to be like oh we're going to ban this person because he's obviously a trader Shh. shouldn't be telling them a secret should I well, it's not that often I get one from down there anyway. Jesus, I've seen vans pull up on there and they load like three or four bikes and they're the back of this bloody van. <clears throat> As I've complained about before. Possibly through jealousy because I didn't get them. <laughs> I suppose I could admit that's probably the, re <laughs> the reason it pissed me off the most. But, uh, oh well. As they say, first come, first served, and I was too slow. Oh, I thought this had like a shutter half closed or something on it. Just me. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. 
Whew, right. All bikes are locked up. I readjusted the bikes on my rally map. The bikes? I nearly didn't realise what I'd said. I readjusted the brakes on my Rally Max Ogre. I forgot it was actually an Ogre. Because then they weren't to my satisfaction, so I just refiddled with those. Now they are, they work pretty well. Or well enough. I don't think I could pull decent skids with them. But they do stop me, which is all I want them to do. I could do with adjusting the seat and sliding it back a bit if I can. I can't remember if I can or not with that seat. Because there's some styles of saddles that you can't loosen them off and slide them back and forth. In fact, I think I've got one in my cupboard up here. And, uh... Oh. How am I going to get that off? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I can get in there with a grinder. Where your clamp is for your seat post, it's the bolt has rusted solid. I tried undoing the nut and it just spins the whole thing round. Um, I might take a hacksaw with me then. So I know both my stepdads have got blunt blades in. So if I take one... So I don't think I'm going to get in the gap with a grinder without damaging the frame. Because um, obviously the grinder disc is going to be thicker than a hacksaw blade. But if I can get in there with a hacksaw, I'll cut that off and I can just replace it. I'll take a replacement with me, if I remember. I should remember. So I won't go in there after the hacksaw. Yeah, <laughs> now I'll forget the hacksaw, won't I? Don't matter because there's something I could do here anyway. Right, rambling. Oh, well, I haven't been rambling on for as long as I thought. Right, uh, so yeah, tomorrow I'm back at Mum's. Uh, not sure what time. I won't be going down the recycle center, center rather. I'm actually out of cash now, but never mind, that don't matter. I've got a can of polish somewhere in the bedroom. I'll take that just so I can clean the frame down. Let's see if I can bring this uh, dirty looking turd back to life. I could take the shift actually. Actually, I might take that. Use it up. I'll empty that out and I'll uh, throw what I want in there. Right then. Uh, sure, I saw Nemo come running over this way. Mm hmm. Hmm. I saw in the news this morning. Well, I knew last night, but I didn't think it was this bad. There's a holiday site, camping site, or whatever you want to call it, uh, about five miles from here, so not very far, and one of their mobile homes went up in flames yesterday evening. I think our fire engine went out about 8.20, about 20 minutes past 8-ish, and there was four fire engines in total attended. Not surprising because you know it's on a built up um, caravan site with lots of caravans close to it and uh, propane tanks and whatnot there as well. So <clears throat> I think the news said it took them about four hours to completely extinguish it. I suppose that counts damping down as well and making sure you know there's no hot spots as they do, so they don't get called back because it's reignited, because it does happen. In fact, there was a fire locally where that did happen, and I ended up going back the following 
Yeah, the following evening, they put it out in the morning, and then a hot spot reignited, and I had to go back that evening. Even professionals make mistakes from time to time. It's just one of them things. No one's, uh, no one's perfect. I know it's easy to get mad at people and what, and uh, when they make mistakes, especially if it likes uh, puts your life at risk. But uh, we are all human. I went to Facebook to do something. I can't remember what it was. must delete the Muddy Fox ad from Gumtree. In fact, I can do that. Just so I don't keep getting people message me. Told you it would sell at the weekend. It's ju I suppose it's the best time to post it. If you've got anything you want to sell, post it towards the weekend. Either on a Thursday or a Friday. Come on, slow ass. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think my box of assorted toy cars has, has sold as well. Why isn't that photo showing? Oh, well, that doesn't matter because I'm deleting it. Yes, it was. He's not messaged me complaining about it, so I presume it's okay. I didn't lie. He did ask if there was anything he needed to know about it. And I said, nope, it all works. And demonstrate. I think he asked because when he turned up, I was tweaking the brakes because the front one was a little bit slow at retracting, but I did fix that just by adjusting the uh, springs on the brakes. But uh, yeah, I am honest. If there's something wrong with it, it will be said. But I always try to fix every problem, big or small, that I can find. Unless something has genuinely slipped my mind, which does happen, because I've got a memory like a sieve. I say a sieve because some things stick in my memory and other things just drop straight through. So my mind is like a, literally like a sieve. <laughs> I'm hopeless with birthdays. Anyway, I'm rambling now, aren't I? So I'm going to turn the camera off. And uh, I better get on the right account, actually, if I'm going to upload it. Did I just say 105 subscribers? Have I gained one? I sort of seem to balance around the same sort of number of subs. Let's just click on that again. Yeah, I have. Welcome. I completely forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> oh well. Welcome aboard, new subscriber. I think you're mad subscribing to me because I don't do a lot. I chat to a camera. <laughs> About random bollocks. Right. That's it then. Um, I sort of wish I'd brought that axle home with me. I'll bring it home tomorrow. Or, like I said, I'll take the camera with me, one or the other. Do you believe I've got some... Two batteries here I'm going to charge. I'll just put them in the boat. That'll give me three for tomorrow. And if I put two these ones on, when I get up, bollocks. I should have enough spare batteries. Right. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again either when I'm at Mum's or when I get home. Depends if I want to take the camera or not, I'm not sure. I'll decide that tomorrow. Anyway, see ya.